Hey, this is Captain Brian. We're out on our uh, Sea Ray 410 Sundancer. She's an O2, so getting kind of old and uh, there's always something to fix. Hopefully something simple. Like uh, today, we'll talk about how last week I replaced uh, the basin tap on my uh, cockpit sink. Hey, Captain Brian here. We're out on our, uh, two, our 2002 Sea uh, Ray Sundancer 410, and uh, she's getting a little long in the tooth, uh, in about 16 years old now, so uh, there's always something to fix. Uh, hopefully silly stuff like last week I replaced this, uh, this basin tap, this faucet here, and uh, here's the old one. It still worked, but you know, paint's coming off. Um, the strainer doesn't come out to be clean, so it wasn't flowing that great. Uh, and you know, I, I guess I could have replaced the, uh, the the washer in there, you know, but it was getting hard to shut it all the way off. Real easy re to replace, though. Um, if you take a look under here, it's just got the one water line, one water line, and there's a thumb nut, so easy to take that off. Obviously, got to turn the water pressure off first. And then you got to take this one nut here. I'll show you on the old one. This one nut, take that off. And that was a challenge because you can't get a wrench straight up in there because it's in the cabinet. But what I was able to do was to go in from underneath like this and just, you know, it wasn't that hard, just gave it a turn. And if you had to, you could put another wrench on this wrench to get some, get some torque. Anyway, it came right off. And then when you put it back on, you see this little neoprene washer? This one's crushed from being squished in there for years, but they give you a new one. And uh, this, this, this guy goes underneath with the nut. And, and this, this black washer gets compressed when you tighten it down. So that makes a nice watertight seal so no water sneaks in there and starts rotting the fiberglass. And it also makes it so you don't have to make it super duper tight and it won't spin, right? It makes some friction in there. So you just tighten that up, put the water line back on, and that's that. Super simple. I thought it was going to be hard to find a replacement, but believe it or not, I found it on Amazon. It was only 60 bucks. Uh, and, uh, you know, just searched for Marine Basin Tap, and, uh, and there it was. Exact match, except for the, the finish. If this happens to be the exact one you've been looking for, it's, it's right on Amazon.com. It's by a company called uh, San, uh, Scanvic. And uh, you can find a link in the description below.